Hey everybody, Ethan here, and you're on my side of the room. Um, I'm done with my concert and everything, so it's back to business as usual. But having done the concert experience and all that went up to that, I want to talk today about decisions. And originally I was going to do another of my occasional series called Why I Bought It. And I was going to talk up Perry's Leathers. And I don't get any sponsorship off of these guys. I just really like their guitar straps. But we also need to have some real talk. Um, Perry's guitar straps are beautiful, so don't get me wrong. And I don't regret buying these. It's just... Um, I'm here to bring you my experience of, in this case, gigging and then now playing an actual concert. Um, and it's so funny as I just, I went so long not gigging and not playing concerts and then I switched to focusing on bass and then ring, ring, ring. <laughs> so there you go. Well, sitting in your bedroom or your creative space or whatever you got, is a bubble world and I've said this before and I'll say it again and I know it on some level but it really bit me hard when it was concert time. I've prided myself in this new day and age that my decisions I'm making are all based around my goals and my goals are play gigs, play shows, so concerts, and just get all around better at being a musician than I've ever been. And so I'm working on all those things, and to varying degrees of success, I'm, I'm playing my regular gig, I've got the concert I just did. Um, it's not a stadium, and that's fine. I mean, the idea is, is that you kind of work your way forward to bigger and better as you go, and I don't know how big and better I'm going to get as far as like gigs and experience and all that. And you, so you got to make the most of what you do get. So whether it's your bedroom or your garage band or whatever the deal is, or you're just playing some party at some of friend's house, all that is experience and don't discount it is what I'm saying. And again, I'm, I'm really addressing the beginner crowd here as I say that. But I think it's it's valid to anybody. I, I think people with more experience than me might agree about the importance of having that experience and learning from those experiences. So the show itself was slated to be well, something like just over an hour, but with a 15-minute break. So time-wise, it was going to extend to like an hour and 15 minutes or something. And when I practice at home, I'm practicing with the intent of playing an Epcot show. Not that I think I'm going to play at Epcot. I'm just using that as my yardstick for stamina and song selection of my own, like in my own head about like what kind of songs I'd like to play on the bass. Um, and that's been a pretty good yardstick, like six songs, six to seven, about a half an hour show if you can play it consecutively and just keep punching up stuff to keep playing along to then yeah I think it's a good uh, good yardstick well the final dress rehearsal Thursday night before the Friday night show was supposed to go well really real time so there was gonna be no intermission it was just gonna be we we're just gonna play, play each song back to back and just keep going and going and going and not stop until we were done. Well, <laughs> um, considering we didn't do all of the songs, uh, it still went about four hours. And towards the end of that, my shoulders and my back were screaming uh, because I was mostly standing through the whole thing. Um, and I had not this strap, so this is this is mostly just for looks and show. This is just a basically it's a seatbelt strap that looks nice. 
So I think of it like I like to wear ties with my dress shirt, and I've got a whole box of ties uh, since we moved that I just haven't unboxed and done any with. But, you know, yeah, you do that. You put on a dress shirt, you put on a tie that you like and all that. So, sure. So I kind of view the guitar strap as kind of like putting on a different tie. All right. Well, again, fashion hurts, apparently. <laughs> and uh, this is just looks and for show, but it's, this is not for shows. I, I know it. Even though I, my weekly gig, that has an intermission for me. It's two songs, go sit down, come back, two songs, we're done. Yeah, I could do this, but I just can feel it. It's going to just be digging into my shoulder, and this is just kind of for laughs, all right? Here is what I've been buying, because it's sheepskin padded. And I thought, oh, yeah, you know, this this will do it. Oh, yeah, it's be nice and comfy and all that. And at home, it doesn't really bother me, but I'm, again, kind of playing about a half an hour set at home when I'm practicing, and then I'll do something else. So for the purposes of the upcoming show, it wasn't the greatest or not. At the time, it was upcoming. It's already happened. Um, it wasn't the best run up to it as far as simulating the live fire experience, but I wasn't really trying to do that. So I thought, well, yeah, this, this would be all right. Well, come that that killer rehearsal, I was like, oh my God. I mean, what was I, what was I thinking? Why did I ever buy this? And it's not a bad strap. So I'm not, this is not me trashing these guys. I like these straps. But for four hours, this ain't it. All right, so what is? Well, believe it or not, my least favorite strap of the ones I bought in the last, say, six months is the one that bailed me out. I'd like to thank, uh, I believe it's Jim at Audiomo Music. Uh, he's a local Orlando guy. And uh, I don't know him personally. I just, I've, his channel has been showing up in my feed, so I've been checking it out. And he's predominantly guitar, which I don't really focus on, but I'm just like, oh, let me just kind of, you know, if he has some advice about gigging and stuff, I want to pick that up. I'm not so much concerned about Harley Benton guitars and stuff, but so I'll just kind of skip that. But he was saying, if you're having back and shoulder pain, you may want to consider this clickbait. So, all right, sure. I mean, I'll check out his video, but they're short. And he recommended an elastic strap. And I don't know if this is necessarily elastic, but this is very foam padded. And this is by some made-up brand called Lakato. <laughs> and uh, it's one of those Amazon finds. Again, I'm not plugging. I don't get any money for this. I don't care if you buy it. I'm just passing along what happened. Um, I got through the show. Now, the show really was real time. It was as planned, about a half an hour break for 15 minutes, about another half an hour for the second half done, uh, and a little encore for like two minutes. So, cool. Um, so, yeah, it's just so funny. My least favorite guitar strap, and this is, this right here is really annoying because it digs in my back. Um, and I don't really have an answer for this. Like you can see, it's got this thing that sticks and it, like it'll jab me in the back the whole time. But this foamy padding wins over this. If I'm, I, I can't throw this out over this. So for most of the time, this is going to be my go-to sort of thing is this sheepskin padded thing. And that's been comfortable, it's been fine for home use, but um, when it's actual gig, like not, not gigs, the weekly gigs, is these padded sheepskin things are fine for that as well, but a show that's going to be longer than 30 minutes, definitely that either elastic strap or that foamy padded Lakato thing, big time. Um, so I hope that helps. One other thing to show you. Besides my ailing guitar back there, I don't want to talk about it right now. So, once again, Perry's is here. So is the Schecter. So I bought one of these thin, showy straps for the Schecters. I thought, yeah, this is really cool. You know, it really goes with the look of this guitar. I really like it for this bass. Well, 
I think it was when I watched Audiomo, I was like, well, maybe I'll just get one of these gel strap pad things. And I didn't do it because I was like, don't I already have something like this? And it was that Lakato one. But I still wanted to try this out, so I just got this from Amazon. I don't know what brand this even is. It is... Oh god, I can't even read this. Like, Kylik or something? It's just some made-up name. <laughs> um, what it is, is it's a gel foam or whatever padded strap thing. My only beef with this... See if you can guess my beef as I struggle with this thing. Uh, with this seat belt kind of strap, it just constantly just keeps sliding back and forth like this and it doesn't stick. So I don't know what to do about that, about if I need to jam something in there and make it stick. <laughs> uh, but it's really annoying. And this Schecter is not particularly neck divey, but it doesn't matter. It's just you're constantly fighting this thing up and down. Um, but I'm still adjusting to it, but I think this is another good possibility for long-term shows or whatever to have this kind of thing. And then that way you can show off your cool-looking strap, but you get that extra pad. So it's something to consider. Anyway, I hope that was helpful information. Let me know in the comments. Uh, keep learning, keep playing, and I'll catch you in the next video.